Good morning from Accra. Uh, boy, jet lag really hit me last night. So I come down this morning and we are trying to make ourselves some coffee. I, for the life of me, ah, oh, a nice espresso machine. But for the life of me, I cannot figure out why my coffee is coming out as just water. Morning is just too early to have to make my coffee without a cup of coffee. Thankfully, I figured it out. You had to put a pot in. Once I've got the pot in there, I'm getting a nice, rich cup of espresso. Unfortunately, I didn't push the right button. I'm only getting a half cup. What does that mean? Yep, you got it. We've got to put in another pod because we need a full cup of coffee this morning. There is no way this day is going to go down without an entire cup of coffee. And at this point, what I'm looking at is a double espresso. I'm not normally a fan of these kinds of coffee machines, but this morning I have to admit it looks pretty good. It's got a nice coating of crema on top of that cup of coffee. The smell coming off that cup of coffee is so good. It's waking me up just smelling that. Walking over to the food line, I am faced with a smorgasbord of African delicacies. I've got smoked fish in spinach, boiled green plantains for the starch. I also added on some sweet potatoes. Oh, let's get back to that cup of coffee because we know that. But this fish, it is a super meaty, not flaky, white fish. And it's in a bunch of African spices all coated in spinach. Smells so good. Oh, it, the taste, let me tell you. It's got a little bit of spice, but not too much, enough to wake you up in the morning. You pair that with a little bit of the boiled plantain, and you've really got yourself a nice meal there for breakfast in the morning. They also had some homemade yogurt. Very interesting flavor. Paired that up with some papaya, that fresh papaya in the morning, which was so sweet. Right texture. It's so nice to get these tropical fruits when you're here in the tropical place. They haven't been picked green. But this yogurt, it had a saltiness to it that you don't normally get with the yogurts that you find in the United States. Definitely homemade. Had a little bit of the curd still in it. It was fantastic. Walking around the hotel lobby, enjoying some of the hotel art. Very African in nature and uh, gives the nice ambiance to the whole hotel. Anyways, good morning.